Hello and welcome to another episode of Blue Alpine TV. In today's episode, we'll talk about the new Binance Fund and we'll talk about Visa card payments getting declined and failing left and right and what this means for the crypto scene. But let's start with this first news story. We're talking about Binance. Binance currently the top cryptocurrency exchange in terms of trade volume. Says here, top crypto exchange Binance seeks 20 major partners for giant 1 billion US dollar fund. Now Binance, this, this has been a rumor for a while. And um, what Binance essentially wants to do is using the BNB token, so the own token that Binance has created, um, kind of a, as an investment vehicle, as it says here in the article, in order to kind of create new projects and foster kind of the, um, the e economy, the crypto economy based on the BNB token. Um, says here that they are trying to get 1 billion US dollars in a cryptocurrency based fund, obviously using the BNB tokens. And they won't do this with Binance as the company, but they will do this with Binance Labs, the kind of the incubator of the exchange. And they have already, I think, uh, created mobile coin. Mobile coin, yes, they have uh, led kind of the funding round of 30 million US dollars. And um, they are using this money for different kinds of things. Uh, obviously, this is um, meant to be in general to, to kind of strengthen the whole crypto economy. But it is also a very smart business model because the BNB token will be all over. We've mentioned the BNB token a bunch of times. Now, when you're a cryptocurrency exchange, what you want to do is that uh, people are actually using your BNB token because when you control the economy of the exchange, the inflow and outflow of money, you essentially make even more money that way. Um, obviously, if they are uh, switching it to Bitcoin or to Monero or whatever and moving it out of the exchange, there is no value left in for, for Binance. But if they are moving it as out as Binance uh, tokens, or if they are holding Binance token, or if they're buying Binance token, um, Binance's cryptocurrency exchange only gains in terms of trade volume, and then they gain with uh, commissions. And with commissions, obviously, Binance makes more money. So this will be uh, quite a big move. Now, if you're already preparing your wallets to send some Binance tokens, um, I have to tell you, you have to be quite heavy on the money side. So it says here, um, the fund seeks to onboard only significant heavyweights as partners, members requiring at least 100 million US dollar on the asset management. Binance is seeking a total of 20 such partners. Now, if you have 100 million US dollars in spare change, be my guest, I think would be a very good kind of opportunity to get in on, uh, I would say, one of the hottest funds in cryptocurrency. And um, if you don't have the 100 million US dollars, um, what, what, what can you do in that case? Now, a bunch of things. Uh, in my opinion, Binance token as a kind of a, a investment thesis of um, buying tokens from the different cryptocurrency exchanges, be it uh, KuCoin, be it Binance, be it all of these different coins, um, is actually a, a kind of investment thesis by itself. Now, Binance token, while we haven't done the uh, a quick analysis yet on, on Binance's token, they have this kind of model where I think every quarter or every half year or in a certain interval, they are burning the Binance tokens, hence making the rest of the Binance tokens even more valuable. They are um, giving out a lot of Binance tokens. When you're buying uh, uh, cryptos with Binance tokens on Binance itself, you are even getting getting a discount. That's how they kind of make sure that the economy on their exchange is running. And if let's say every quarter or every half year or every year, this um, token burn starts, obviously the rest of the tokens that are being there become more valuable. The tokens will be created as far as I know only once and won't be recreated afterwards. So this is kind of the business model uh, behind uh, Binance. And this could actually be a very good kind of leeway for you as an investor to kind of bet on Binance tokens becoming even more valuable. Because if a lot of people are buying into this cryptocurrency fund by Binance and they have to use Binance tokens, you can imagine the amount of demand that will be uh, coming with this. 
Now, I would always in kind of a portfolio, in a, in a well-equipped portfolio, keep a bit of Binance token, mainly because I am very convinced that Binance is currently one of the strongest exchanges when it comes to security, when it comes to community support and all of these things. So I believe Binance is, is in a fairly good position to capitalize on different moves. Also, don't forget, Binance has also moved to uh, Malta just recently due to the kind of supportive uh, laws regarding cryptocurrency in um, Malta itself versus uh, staying in Hong Kong or, or coming to Switzerland, et, et cetera, et cetera. So Binance tokens, I would keep on the radar for sure. Now, next news story, that's an interesting one. We have a Visa card payments failing in UK, Europe highlighting need for decentralized options. Now, actually today at my job, we had a similar issue with Visa cards getting uh, kind of declined actually. Uh, and the problem is Visa had uh, technical issues. So they have tweeted today um, quite late actually, we're currently experiencing a service disruption, which is preventing some visa transactions in Europe from being processed. We are investigating the cause and working as quickly as possible to resolve the situation. We'll keep you updated. Now, uh, says here, Visa, which handles over 150,000 million transactions a day. Uh, that's quite a lot of numbers. Like if, if you are Visa and if you're doing a couple of millions in transactions per day and you have only, let's say, even a disruption for five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, this will cost you a lot of money because as you know, Visa's main business model are the kind of uh, fees that either the, 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 the retailer has to pay or the kind of uh, card user has to pay, like the commissions Visa is charging both sides or one side. And obviously, if you're making money on each transaction and you're kind of breaking the transaction flow, well, bad luck. Um, now, obviously, a lot of people come up on Twitter and everywhere uh, tout, like shouting around and saying, well, Bitcoin is the answer. Bitcoin, which has been launched since uh, basically 2008, 2009, has had a 99.99% uptime, no downtime because it's essentially a decentralized network. So there is no single point of failure. Now, if Visa, let's say, let's say I'm not sure whether this actually happened, but let's say Visa was under attack very likely that all of these servers are in one place and if they don't have this kind of decentralized approach to server uh, architecture this could cause them a lot of trouble now is bitcoin the answer i'm not really sure like i'm very bullish on bitcoin but i'm not really sure whether this um would have been uh, the, the solution i mean if we just think back at uh, december or january december uh, last year or january this year when bitcoin's price was quite high bitcoin's transaction fees were also quite high so it, it kind of didn't really make a lot of sense as a uh, if you will um as a, as a kind of money replacement or digital currency because it was just too expensive to send even the smallest amount of Bitcoin um, left and right. Now, this is actually also one of the reasons why, for example, Stripe has removed Bitcoin support because on one side, the transactions have shot into the high and uh, on the other side, the transactions, the transaction, the pure transaction numbers from Stripe customers have actually been declining. And that's one of the reasons why they have kind of removed it. I will actually link a very interesting interview with the Stripe co-founders um, where they kind of uh, talk a bit about cryptocurrency as well. That's for sure interesting. But let's get back to the point. So Bitcoin as an alternative for daily life or for Visa. Now, in my opinion, Bitcoin could become an alternative. But for that, a lot of different things need to happen. First of all, I believe Lightning Network is a must in that case. Um, as long as Bitcoin is, let's say, slow, uh, hard to scale and is expensive, nobody will adopt Bitcoin or will accept it as a kind of a payment method. That's one part. So Bitcoin needs to kind of get up to speed in terms of technology. Now, whether Lightning Network will be the answer, I'm not sure. Maybe it will be an entirely different cryptocurrency that will win this space. It is clear, though, that we will need an alternative for exactly cases like these. Now, I don't remember the last time we had a kind of Visa or MasterCard outage like this. 
but obviously it just shows that if you have a single point of failure and if you can't use any other kind of currency obviously you could use cash but um if you're kind of bound to this card system and that's fairly centralized and they are under attack it's kind of a problem um to to kind of rely on these big partners now i believe bitcoin could be an alternative yes another alternative would be that another cryptocurrency be, can become kind of an alternative to this to this issue that being said we are lacking one very major thing from cryptocurrencies becoming a strong alternative to visa and that is kind of a killer application for this thing like if you if you don't have i mean let's say you're in a restaurant and let's say you're exactly facing this visa outage now how would you exactly have an alternative you you won't have your ledger wallet with you so uh, and and you you don't have any other card with you so you kind of need that uh, be it application or whatever imagine something like you you may have heard from from wechat in china which is like the all-rounder application and even if you buy street food you just scan a qr code and you can send money this is the stuff that i believe um we will need for cryptocurrency this is exactly what's currently missing like this killer application in combination with a scalable cheap and fast cryptocurrency this is kind of the combination that i still believe is not like it's it's up for grabs but it's not sure whether bitcoin will take it so it could very well be that bitcoin will become a store of value will become the digital gold and another currency that is maybe faster will kind of take that place could be litecoin could be stellar could be monero could be whatever but you have to think about these kind of situations as an investor and have to think about okay what could become the currency what kind of um, uh, things are needed on a technological level for example nano is is quite fast ripple is quite fast but ripple is also centralized but um, all of these things like you have to kind of think about exactly these situations so imagine you're in a restaurant visa has an outage you literally only have a wallet without any other cards except visa cards and you have your mobile phone or a key or whatever like what what will you use to pay for this and how will the experience be what kind of um experience will you have will you have to wait for five minutes until the transaction clears is that a solution probably not so you have to kind of think about these things when you're investing so obviously i i think it's ironic that that visa is a bit hating on on blockchain and cryptocurrency in general and then has these issues well yeah bitcoin is is a bit more stable but um, obviously, Bitcoin has its own problems as well. But I, I, I thought it's, it's quite interesting that even big companies like these can have these disruptions. And it's definitely needed that we will have a more decentralized, a more kind of useful currency alternative. And with that, guys, we're already at the end of today's episode. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the podcast. I will see you also on the Telegram channel, which is in the show notes or in the video description. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.